What is up, guys? It's uh, became a ghost. I didn't call me Steven, no, it's my name in real life. Um, yeah, I'm bringing you some uh, domination gameplay on Cargo. You see, uh, I, ga I, I joined this game late. I think it was like um, five minutes in or six minutes into the game, but I do real good anyway. So I, I believe I got all my uh, all my score streaks. Um, and yeah, I just enjoy the gameplay. Um, this is actually my first um, upload and commentary on this channel. I used to have a channel, um, only a blade. But you know, I don't, I don't, I don't only knife anymore. Um, it just died off. Well, it didn't die off. It was like my computer broke and all that stuff, and I didn't get a new computer like f until like four months later. And by the time that happened, I only uploaded three videos, and that channel is just dead already. Cause I haven't uploaded for like three months, I believe. I think my my latest ones, but they were all like three months. So I don't know. So I decided to uh, start a new channel. Since, since um, since my last channel, I actually been doing good. Um, I joined the clan, uh, KMB. Um, so it's an awesome clan. Very fun. Real cool dudes and stuff. Laid back guys and all that. But um, yeah, guys. Uh. Securing A. Subject today, I think we want to talk about the next generation consoles. Um, so far, we know about the Xbox One. Um, the reveal on the PlayStation 4, I believe, it's in the beginning, like in the beginning of the second week of uh, next month, which is June. I think it's June 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, Xbox One. I'm exci I'm excited for the Xbox One actually. The thing is, like, honestly, to be honest, this is just my opinion. Okay, it's just my opinion. I don't really like the way it looks. Like, to me, like the first time I seen it, it was like, first thing I thought it was like a DVD player or like a DVR or something. It just doesn't look. It doesn't look beastly like I thought it would. Um. But I guess it's just all about the performance anyway, you know, but it doesn't hurt to make it look awesome, you know, especially a next generation console, whatever, we'll probably be with that for like five years or something. Um, so yeah, I'm more, honestly, I'm more excited for the PS4, being that me personally, I am a more, I'm a more PlayStation person. Um, I started off with a PlayStation and all that stuff. Um, I do have both consoles, actually. Um, that was a nice kill there. Um, I, I do have both consoles, but I mostly play on the PlayStation. Um, I do like the Xbox. For actually, the first time I played on Xbox, I complete. I was garbage. I wasn't used to the feel of the controller. You know, I just wasn't used to the feeling of it or anything like that. Um, and when I did transition to Xbox, that's when I was still um, only knifing. And that's when I decided I didn't want to um, only knife anymore. A couple weeks after me transitioning to Xbox, um, so that's when I started gunning and all that stuff. And I do miss only knifing, you know, just for the challenge of it. I do go back to it once in a while, but I mostly gun now. Um, so yeah, I know for the PlayStation 4, they, I don't know if it's for the mostly for the Xbox also, but. For the PS4, um, I know they're gonna put a, ne a new engine on it. Um, there's been rumors for um, a, a new engine. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not all that into like, I'm not like into that. Uh, I don't have the smarts to like freaking know all about like freaking like, the new engine. Like, I really don't know what it means, kind of, but it's just something new. Honestly, I just play the game. Um, but I've been hearing rumors um, about destructible environments and 
all that good stuff. Um, and it's awesome if they end up doing destructible environments and all that stuff. I know they're going to have interactive environments just like they did with uh, a DLC map. Um, dang, I can't remember the name. You know, with the wave, you have to get out the wave for the water or whatever. That's like an interactive environment, but they don't really have destructible environments in Call of Duty. I know they have it in uh, Battlefield, but uh, it would be awesome if you could have destructible environments. It, to me, it doesn't make any sense if you have like a, a VTOL warship or something and someone's taking cover in a house. You should be able to just tear that house down, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, that would be awesome if they had destructible environments. Um, and also, please excuse if this commentary is kind of crappy, you know what I'm saying? It's my first, like, actual commentary. Um, so yeah, I'll get, I promise I'll get better, I promise. Um, what I'm gonna try to do now, now that I got this new computer set up and all that, I might, uh, I'm gonna post more videos up, better quality. If you guys check out my, uh, my other, my channel, mm, it's not act, I don't, I'm not on it anymore, but, uh, if you guys check that out, um, you see that all the videos are laggy. It's like, it's con it's like constant lag, but the the end game wasn't lagging. It's just when I uploaded it. So, as you can see, there's like no lag in this. So it's awesome now. So, so you guys, this video is kind of coming to an end. There's no action at the end because uh, they they rage quit. Um, but it's like one of my one of my better games. Um, I post more, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.